Welcome or welcome back to Space Cowboy. Today we're going to be going over something relatively simple, but you may not know it. Vendors are everywhere in Starfield, but there are select vendors that offer special things or buy things for a better price. And today we're going to go over the best vendors in Starfield that are settled all across the settled systems. If that sounds good to you, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video and stick around for much more Starfield content. Now, with all vendors, it's better to upgrade your commerce skill because you'll be able to buy items for less and sell them for more. To upgrade this skill, all you need to do is sell unique items to any vendor. So, or basically pretty much anything, just sell stuff to the vendors as often as possible and you'll be able to get a decent chunk, 25% more for selling and you'll be able to buy things for 20% less. So always try and get this skill right up there as fast as you can. Now, first and foremost, one of the best vendors in the game is in the Wolf System. Now, if you head into the Wolf System and you head over to the Den, which is a starship sort of space station, and it has a Trade Authority vendor on it. Not one of the kiosks. You can find the kiosks pretty much everywhere. But this guy also has absolutely no scans to get to him so he's a great way to sell contraband which is a relatively good way to make money if you are targeting that aspect and just want to make some cash like i say if you've got armor and things like that any vendor will do really but this vendor is the best for contraband you head into the den and then as you head in just simply walk straight across there's a ship services guy there as well swing to the left and there is the trade authority dude nicely as well there's a couple of seats next to him if you do want to refresh and he has as you can see there 11,000 credits also this guy tends to have some pretty good weapons occasionally he'll have some specials on there i mean look at that one that is an absolute beast the advanced breach next up you're going to be going to the soul system when you're in the soul system head to mars which is this one here you'll do quite a few main missions over this way but into this cydonia mining complex and just head straight in and straight down. Now when you get to these stairs, don't go down the stairs. You need to hit a left here. Go through this way and see where the uh, signage is there. The UC Exchange. This guy, relatively hidden, but he has some really, really good stuff. If you see what he's got, he's got some great weapons. All of decent level. Once again, everything scales to your level. But um, you can get some really cool stuff from this guy. Next up is another weapons dealer. You want to head to Velo up by the Narian District and the Freestar Collective Space, and then head to Polvo. You head to Hopetown, which is just down on the left of the planet. Once you've landed in Hopetown, there is a ship kiosk there. There is also a Trade Authority kiosk, that is if you need either of those. But what we're here for is another weapons dealer. Now, this one is primarily a weapons dealer, unlike the UC Exchange um this one has a very big focus on weapons and he has some pretty decent ones you can also steal if you really want to get some good weapons here but this is the best defense shop so all you're going to do is head straight out of the port and then hit a right speak to carlos shenton which you spoke to carlos he'll obviously give you a bit of a price as a price and you can actually sell um weapons here for a little bit of a better price than you can in some other places As you can see, his main focus is on weapons, and he's got a 346 breach, 260, 247 for the advanced mag pulse, advanced mag shot, advanced Nova light. So it has some pretty much advanced stuff that is all of it. He's got a lot of special as well. So the advanced coachman, which is 312 damage. As far as I'm aware, that is the best coachman that you can find. And you can also steal an advanced coachman from this dude as well. So if you just turn around in here, there's two mag rifles, there's a mag shear up there, and then another mag shear. And then if you come over here, this one hasn't respawned, but there's a shotgun in there, which you can just reach through the grass and grab. For this one, you want to be heading to Vol 2. Head into Vol 2, and then to the planet Vol 2 Alpha. When you get there, you want to be heading to Neon. There is loads of cool stuff in Neon, many of the chain shops that we spoke about. As you come into the main strip of Neon, swing a left. As you can see, there's loads of shops here that we've spoke about already. Rely on Medical, Enhance, Trade Authority, uh, Outfitters, which is another clothing shop. 
Uh, the trade authority ones are very good. They're everywhere. And if you do have contraband, all trade authority will buy them from you. You've just got to be able to get in. But we're here to see Mining League. Now, Mining League, if you go into the shop, it is basically what the title suggests. Raw materials. If you are looking for raw materials and you want them in bulk, this is the best place to be. They do sell other things here too, but it's primarily all of this raw materials. Now, other vendors will sell these, but not in as high quantities. This is also the best place to sell raw materials. So resources, basically. So as you can see there, they sell for 10, depending on the resource. But you can come here and sell these for a little bit more than most other places. Now, if you've got loads of survey data and you want to get rid of this, the best place to do this is with Vlad. Now, you can find Vlad in the Alpha Centauri star system, and where you'll find him is in the Eye, which is just next to Jemison. The Alpha Centauri system is where we start the game, and all you've got to do is head over to the Eye, dock it, and then you'll find Vlad inside. But with Vlad, I would recommend getting all of the survey data that you want as early as possible because once he goes into the lodge you can no longer sell him survey data as far as i'm aware i'm not too sure if that is a bug i was able to sell him some things once he come back to the eye but yeah bear that in mind if you do that early game that'll be much better but there are vendors on mars that you can also sell survey data to next up you come into cheyenne and over to aquila to aquila city on Aquila City as you land here uh, you will come across some pretty cool shops there's loads of random little bits here gun stores all sorts of random stuff um, some various shops that are available in New Atlantis and Eon so basically the big chains but there is one store that's quite special that you always want to visit there's a ship services technician just there but keep running all the way in until you get into the city now just keep going straight into the city you'll see the main town hall there and as you come up here by the statue hit a left there is a little gun store there as well roland arms which is relatively good there's some decent bits in there but just keep following this pathway all the way through and then you'll come down some stairs and you will see sinclair's books now if you are going out and exploring you'll be picking loads of crap up and you want to make a decent chunk of cash the books that you find are all worth around about 100 to 200 but if you come into Sinclair's books, it is like a library. But if you speak to the actual owner of Sinclair's books, what you will be able to do is sell all of these books for a decent chunk of money. There we go. If you speak to Sinclair, you can buy books, um, which, yeah, just random, but all for different values. But if you come back here a little bit later on, you can buy books for a hell of a lot more, which is very, very cool. And we are heading over to Jemison, New Atlantis, and the actual main spaceport where you land. For this, we're going to go down into the well. Now, the well has loads of awesome things down there. There's a few doctors. Uh, there's loads of random shops. But there's a great shop for the start of the game down here. Uh, mainly because there's some relatively cheap items here. They're not always the best, but they are quite cheap. So if you are struggling a little bit towards the start of the game and you just want to buy some a little bit better gear, then this will be the place to come. Just want to head out of here. And here you can see UC Surplus. Open the doors and just head on in. These guys have a little bit of everything. Weapons, armor, spacesuits, the lot. And if you are feeling a little bit ballsy, you can steal some stuff. But... Yep, that will give you a bit of a hefty old fine. But if you're not planning on coming back for a while, then you can. As you can see, he has got a little bit of everything. Weapons, ammo, spacesuits, helmets. Little bit of uh, good stuff. Some okay weapons. Nothing absolutely spectacular, but some decent bits. Next up, we're in Alpha Centauri. And as we head into Alpha Centauri, you go to the Jemison District and obviously New Atlantis. You want to be coming to the Mast District when you are here. If you jump over, head over to the right, you'll see Reliant Medical there on your left. What you can do is just jump directly between the two buildings where Reliant Medical is. And then try and land just over here and head into EIT Clothers or... Clothes? Uh, I don't know. 
plot hires. I don't know, one of those two. Yeah, I don't, some along those lines. But this guy is great. If you just want to make you look cool, not everything is very functional, but you can have all sorts of funky ass suits and make yourself look really cool. And this guy buys apparel for quite a decent price as well. So as you can see here, he's got all of these funky items, the blue poncho, executive suit, salary suit, sleek suit, noble suit, and uh, just all sorts of random things that they do look quite cool, some of them. Uh, they're not expensive, but once again, if you do want to sell some apparel, so not um, armor, uh, not a spacesuit, not helmets, just apparel, so the clothing that you wear under that, this guy offers a relatively decent price for them. Now, for the next few vendors, you can find them all over the sailed systems. But because you'll spend a lot of time in Alpha Centauri, I will show you the ones that are here. You can find them in places like Neon and Aquila City, but I'm going to show you the ones that are here. And first off, we're going to start off with Emerson Mer Mercantile, Mercantile, whatever it is. But this place is great for selling miscellaneous items. You will get the best price for miscellaneous items here. As you can see, they've got all sorts of stuff, absolutely random things. Uh, water, food, clothing, they've got a bit of everything in here. And there is a bench outside as well, so you can sit if you'd like to and just waste a little bit of time. Weapons is not something that they do, but they do have spacesuits, helmets, apparel, and misc and resources. So they have a decent amount of things, and it's just a great place to sell a lot of miscellaneous stuff. You'll get the most amount of money here for your miscellaneous. So for the first one, this is in the commercial district, and you just want to head all the way over to the back here to enhance. Now once again, this is a location that can be found in various places throughout the galaxy. So if you head into enhance, speak to whoever's behind the desk, depending on where you are. Now what enhance does is basically anything for 500 credits, and then what you can do is change your appearance. So you can head in here, you cannot change your traits but you can change everything about your appearance and there's no limit to how many times you can do this. You can do it as many as you want at any location. Next up, we're in the commercial district of New Atlantis and you want to be going all the way up to that Valberg sign up there. There is a Terabu, Terabu, Terabru coffee beneath you if you need it, but we're heading to Whetstone. Now, what Whetstone is, is basically a restaurant and you can get some really cool food that gives you some decent XP bonuses. As you can see here, we've got stuff that just recovers health, persuasion chance, which are relatively good if you like to do that. Um, just the usual crap. But then if you go down to the bottom, you've got all different ones here. So the sparkling wine with persuasion chance, uh, the deep, which restores 22 health, 22 health and 1502, 2% XP gain, and then 110 damage resistance, carry capacity, O2 recovery. So decent bits of food. And you can also steal some things too if you really, really want to. Next up is another one that can be found throughout the set of systems. And this one is at the mast station of New Atlantis. It is Reliant Medical. Now, what you can do at Reliant Medical is quite cool. But to get there in New Atlantis, you just head up. In most places, the uh, signage is very visible. It is a very light blue sign, as you can see there. And the building is always covered. So very easy to find in most places. As you head on in, you'll be able to do some pretty cool things. It's not cheap, but it is cool nonetheless. Now, if you ask them that you need help, they can uh, do a fair few things to heal your wounds, which most of the doctors do. You can find other ones scattered throughout the set of systems. Now, as they heal you up, they do another thing as well. If you go into the medical supply section, these guys have absolutely everything. Through my first playthrough, I found a lot of struggle trying to get treatment items. But these guys have everything that you need, and they are scattered absolutely everywhere. It is not cheap to buy things from these guys. But if you are in a rush and just want to get something fixed up, you can do. Or just want to have some bits on your side in case you get damaged. Wash it out, surveying planets. Then these guys have everything that you will need. Now hopefully this has helped, if it has, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for much more Starfield content. For now though, I've been Cowboy, you've been awesome, thank you for watching, and we'll see you very soon with some more.